I'm going to demonstrate how to do transthoracic echocardiogram with this uh, point of care ultrasound. So first you have to lie down uh, the patient in the left lateral position. So this helps heart to get closer to the ultrasound probe for better imaging. And then we will be doing three views. One is the pasternal view, then apical four chamber, and then subzapphoid view. So let's start with the pasternal long axis view first. Very important is whenever you're doing echo, so your marker on the screen should be on the right side. So now you scan. So you for pasternal long axis view, make sure you are in the comfortable position and the patient is lying down comfortably and you have your ultrasound marker towards the right shoulder. And then in the second or third intercostal space, you start looking for the heart and then when you see the image and then you can identify all the structures in the parasternal long axis view. So in parasternal long axis view, the structures that you can see, this is the right ventricle on the top, then the, this is the left ventricle, this is mitral valve, this is left atrium. So again, left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, right ventricle. In mitral valve, we have two leaflets, anterior leaflet and posterior leaflet. And at the bottom here, you can see a circular structure. This is the descending aorta. Descending aorta is a very important landmark to differentiate between pleural and pericardial effusion. If the fluid is above the level of descending aorta, then this is pericardial effusion. If it's below the level of descending aorta, then this is pleural effusion. Now, at the same level of uh, parasternal long axis view, other important point to see here is that the mitral valve leaflet, the anterior mitral valve leaflet is touching the septum, then that means patient has good ejection fraction. You can also put M mode here, and you put the M mode cursor on the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve, and then here you can see if the you can freeze it and you see if the anterior leaflet is touching the septum, that indicates good ejection fraction. Okay. So now from the same point, you rotate the probe. Now the, your marker is towards the left shoulder. And in this view, you can see the circular structure, which is the left ventricle and the surrounding is the right ventricle. Here you can identify all the walls of the ventricle. This is the one of the best view to look for regional wall motion abnormality. So the wall close to the top is the anterior wall. Opposite to that is the inferior wall. This side is the lateral wall and here is the septal wall. It helps to differentiate uh, the coronary artery disease based on the wall motion abnormality. Very important to look for wall motion that you should be looking for papillary muscle as well, anterior and posterior papillary muscle. Now at the same point, if I tilt the probe towards the patient shoulder, now I'm trying to explore the aortic valve here. So when you see the aortic valve here, so you see this is a Mercedes Benz sign with a classical three leaflets of the aortic valve. Then you have the right atrium here and the tricuspid valve and the right ventricle. Uh, this is just like an inflow outflow view that you see in TE. If you tilt your view, tilt your probe towards the, towards me, then you can see the apex of the heart. So here you can see the circular round structure uh, but the papillary muscle will disappear. So it's just the apex of the heart, just to see the contractility. So this okay. is the apical four chamber view. When the marker of the probe is towards the left side of the patient, and uh, you are seeing uh, all four chambers. So right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. This is very good view to compare the size of the right and left ventricle at the same time and to <coughs> diagnose any right ventricular dysfunction or any valvular abnormality of tricuspid or mitral valve. 
So now we're going to switch to subsulfide view where again your marker rates towards the left side of the patient and uh, now here you may have to increase the depth to look at the base of the heart and here you can see this is the liver and here you can see the right atrium right ventricle is the right ventricle looks like a crescent shaped structure which is uh, collapsible and then you can see left atrium and left ventricle here in the same view if you tilt your probe with the marker towards head then you will be able to see this is the IVC as because you see how the IVC is merging in the right atrium and if you just uh, tilt the probe then I then you can see aorta here too it's very important to look for IVC when it's merging into right atrium.